I watched a video yesterday and my jaw was like on the floor. Basically, this beautiful girl is saying that even though she's in $42,000 of credit card debt, she's not going to work on making more money. She's not going to work on figuring out how to save money. She's just putting her future into God's hands. And I get it. Faith is a beautiful thing, but my love, I need to tell you a story. So there is this man and he is trapped on his roof in the middle of a flood. A lifeboat comes by and they say, get in, we are here to save you. And he says, no, I don't need you. God will save me. A little bit of time passes and a helicopter comes by and says, get in, we are here to save you. And he says, I don't need your help. God will save me. Well, inevitably the man dies. And when he sees God, he's angry. And he says, why didn't you save me? And God says, I sent you a lifeboat. I sent you a helicopter and you ignored it. Now I'm gonna need you to take my hand when I say this. How long have you been waiting? How long have you been waiting for a miracle, a break, or someone else to come and do the work for you? And look, I get it because I was there myself, okay? Sometimes it can feel easier to ignore our problems, live in the glorious state of Delulu, and hope they all just go away. But here is the T. Life, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, okay, is throwing opportunities in front of your face. They're not going to do the work for you. It's up to you to see those opportunities and take action. No one has the power to change your life but you. And when I stopped waiting for someone else to come and change my life, that's when I was finally able to pay off my $40,000 of debt, build an emergency fund, feel financially stable enough for kids, build out investments that now pay me over $100,000 a year passively. If you've been waiting for a sign, this is it. And girl, you know I have free trainings to help you get started. Check out my link in bio under freebies.